Hi, I'm Paul Stoppergen, and I'd like to show you my recent project that fades electroluminescent wire color. Here's an ordinary L wire driver. It converts 9 volts into high voltage to excite phosphor in the wire, which emits a blue green light. This L wire has a clear jacket, so we're directly observing the light from the phosphor. Many L wires have a tinted or fluorescent jacket which alters the light's color, but inside they have the same blue green phosphor. The phosphor color can actually vary somewhat from blue to green depending on the frequency of the AC voltage produced by the driver. No commercially made drivers intentionally alter their frequency, so I decided to make one that can. Uh, it runs on three AA batteries, and when switched on, it starts at a low frequency that makes green, and fades up to a higher one that makes blue, and then back again. Electronics-wise, the circuitry is pretty simple. The high voltage is created by a step-up transformer. The alternating current is created at low voltage by alternately switching these two transistors. Probably the trickiest part was the snubber network, which limits the high voltage spikes due to switching the transformer's self-inductance. My first attempt blew the transistors, so if you try building this circuit, don't neglect these parts. The transistors are controlled by an Arduino-compatible board my company makes, called Tinksy. The code is pretty simple. These two blocks just turn each transistor on, and this bit in the middle alters the delay so it fades up and down. The result is somewhat subtle, but very unique, even if the blue and green aren't dramatically different. There simply aren't any commercially made drivers on the market which drive L-Wire in this way. In fact, in searching for information on the web, I found very little information about this color shifting effect. That's why I decided to make this video, so you can see what it looks like. My little driver and L-Wire you see in this photo will be donated to the uh, fundraising raffle for Portland's Thunder Bridge effigy at Burning Man. Uh, the raffle and a barbecue are July 17, 2011. Technical information and source code about this project will remain online at the DorkBot PDX website. Uh, if you'd like to chat in person about the technology, I'm often at the DorkBot bi-weekly meetings. I hope you like this little OWARE exper experiment, and I hope you might someday use this color shifting effect in a costume or art piece.